<laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god god damn. can can you at least let the woman sit down can she at least take a piss first can she at least take a shit first can she brush her fucking teeth first before you start with the dumb bitch shit see you see white people this is why we have to stay woke. <laughs> your, your drowsy ass bet not ever go to sleep on white people because them, listen to me, white people always going to remind you that they are in fact white people. And you know the one that you really need to be concerned about right now, right? Because white men are going to always jump out and demonstrate that they are white assholes. They they don't they can't hold it. They can they can't conceal it. But listen to me, guys. The ones that we really need to be concerned about right now with a African American woman with the presidential nomination, the biggest threat to that to that nominee right now is white women. White women, Donald Trump already got more of the white woman vote. Right. Because they smile in your face and vote behind your back. He already got the larger proportion of them. And the last watch how much the white woman vote they're going to get right now, even though he is the one who blocked them from getting the abortion when they got pregnant for Tyrone. He's the one who said when y'all going out there getting all that BBC. Huh? When you going out there salivating and bouncing on all that BBC, you join that ass in a circle on all that BBC. He was the one who stopped you from getting the abortion in Texas. Now your ass got to jump on an airplane from Dallas, right? Right? Or Houston. And now you got to go from Dallas to Colorado to get an abortion after, after the BBC because of Trump. Even though your uterus now has a, a barcode on it and you no longer have rights over your body. That white woman is still going to vote for Donald Trump. White people are still going to be white people. Your ass better stay woke. You better be up nine days in a fucking row. Now that this, this amazing woman has received the nomination because why white folk are fucking hateful. They're hateful. And, you know, they come on my on my site and they leave their little fucking comments as if what I'm saying is so shocking. When you know, they know how for, white folk know how fucking hateful they are. Y'all hang, white folk hang with white folk. They go fishing with white folk. They go shopping with white folk. They know full well how fucking hateful uh, they are. They, but they, as my grandmother said, what my grandmother said, white folk. Got, are two faces. There's two faces that go with white folk. There's the face on the front porch and there's another face in the kitchen. Grandmother said that shit. And but see what the white men, they pretty much consistent with their hate. It's the white women. And so the only reason why I'm bringing this up because this is in fact a white man who said this shit. But I'm just reminded though, the, the, there's going to, this girl is, Kamala, Kamala Harris is, is up a, an enormous obstacle. This is an enormous obstacle. This is the first, this is a, a, a woman of color, a minority, half black and half something else, who has a chance to be president of the United States. You don't think, you don't think white people jealous of that shit? You don't think they're going to want to stop that shit? Huh? What's what, but see, we did it without them last time. We didn't listen to me. We didn't have white support last time. We had a we had a handful of white people. It was a handful of white people in this amazing place called Atlanta, Georgia. That's how we got Joe Biden. If it wasn't for a handful of white people, the ones who are in theater and shit in New York, you know, the cool ass gay people. If it wasn't for cool ass gay people who are white and Atlanta. Trump would be president right now. That's how close we came to being fucked over. And y'all around here with all of this gay hate and all of this shit. But if it wasn't for them, Trump would be president because they were the ones who saved our black ass. It was, in fact, Georgia. 
And it's going to take Georgia again. If you know anybody in Georgia, start paying a tie to them. Start making sure they got gas money. Start sending them random cash apps and shit because it's going to take them again. Start checking on them and doing wellness check just on people who live in Atlanta and say, hey, man, I was just calling to make sure you're all right. You need some money. You need, hey, I got some extra, um, extra month space on my food stamp card. I want to send y'all some extra food. We got to keep, we got to make sure people in Atlanta, Georgia are alive and well because that's where all the decent white folk are. Because, because the rest of this country, we fucked. Because there's nothing in the rest of this country but assholes like this. Donald Trump thought Frederick Douglass was still alive. Donald Trump thought that they had airplanes in 1775. And you got the fucking audacity to call this woman dumb. Donald Trump so fucking stupid. He's the dumbest white man I've ever seen. And man, that motherfucker so dumb, white men took a L in intellect because of Donald Trump. But they don't give a fuck about that. You know why he hate niggas and he hate Mexicans. And for white folks, in particular white Christians, that's all it takes to get their vote. I'll say it again. All it takes to get the white Christian vote is you hate a nigga, you hate Mexicans, and you hate America. So fuck you. Fuck you, bruh. Fuck you, white boy. Fuck you from every hill and molehill. Fuck you from every mountaintop in this country. Fuck you.